you better think twice before you consecrate your life to a carpenter. Hi, my name is Big Rod and welcome to my channel. February 2nd in 2021, earlier this year, I was consecrated as St. Joseph. What I really like about being consecrated as St. Joseph, St. Joseph as my spiritual father has started rebuilding me from the ground up, from my foundation. And another word for ground and foundation is hummus, the word humility. And that's very important right now, especially as we continue in this year, and we're in the middle of the year right now, it's June, during the month of the Sacred Heart, when God wants to purify the world through the fire of his love, he always starts with us. Not only is that a cool staff over there that I got from one of my best friends, but it's something that I actually need. Uh, my hip is going really bad, so I'm in the process of being rebuilt. I also am a husband and a father of uh, five kids, one in heaven. So we got back from uh, a water vacation, water park. It was awesome. But we were back and we were ready just to just to come home and chill. And then when she was the first one to come in, because I was using the, the staff over there to, to hobble my way inside, our house was flooded from upstairs, bathroom, all the way down through the kitchen and to the basement. And this was the week of the Sacred Heart. And this was the week we're given our lives, continue to give our lives to God. And it was the week where you start to think what St. Catherine of Siena said, that, Lord, if this is how you treat your friends, no wonder you don't have that many. But she stayed with Jesus because she loves Jesus, and so do I. And I'm so glad I'm consecrated to his Sacred Heart, to Mary's Immaculate Heart, St. Joseph's Chaste Heart. Deep waters cannot quench love, nor flood sweep it away. Were one to offer all he had to purchase love, he would be roundly mocked. Sometimes when all these things happen, you know, sort of one catastrophe after another, it makes me think of Good Friday and how, here's how. Because on Good Friday, what we call Good Friday is that moment where Jesus was on the cross, he was dying for our sins, it seemed like God the Father wasn't there. That's the thing, when catastrophe after catastrophe happens, it seems like God is not there. And because you are following the Lord as best you can, you have to know that he is there and he hides himself sometimes so that you can seek him in faith. And when it seems like he's not there and everything is sort of like just going wrong, just search him out, especially in the little things and you'll be surprised by what you find. I no longer say God never gives us more than we can handle. What I like to say now, God will always give you what is necessary for your salvation. Thanks and God bless.